Revision is extremely important because the best writing is rewriting. And it's very easy to catch mistakes the second time through. Once you've written something, let it sit for a while, gone back and changed it, it gone back and looked at it, you can see the changes that you need to make to make it better writing. Uh, from my first draft in my paper to my last draft, there was a big difference. My writing was able to improve a lot through the revisions that I did throughout the semester. The assignments that I found helpful in my GUAR classes were the ones that were not busy work, the ones that actually applied to something that I was doing. Um, in Michelle Wolf's 300 class, everything that she had us do was something that compiled to the end result of the project. So. Each week was broken down into a different aspect of the paper that we were writing, so everything was actually very useful, and it was basically forcing us to go step by step through the process of writing a paper, and by the time we got to the end of the semester, um, everything was completed. So knowing what the end result is going to be when you're writing something makes it much easier to actually do it. What I do with my uh, with my GWAR class is that I develop a, I've developed a paper assignment that is a is a term paper, if you will, but it's written in three parts. So students begin by doing bibliographies, and they come up with a working bibliography. The next step is writing an in, uh, an introduction, which contains definitions for terms and talks about why the topic is important. The second part is what you and I might describe as a literature review. What I ask the students is, I want you to write me a paper on what other researchers in your field know or have learned about your topic. So you're reading other scholars like yourself and you're reporting on what those other scholars have learned about your topic. The third part of the paper is, is a part that make sense of the information that you've gathered. What do we know? What do we not know? What do we need to know? And so that's part three. And then at the end of the semester, the student edits those three paper parts together, and it's a cohesive paper with an introduction, a review of the literature, and a discussion of that literature as it relates to the student's topic, and it's followed by a reference reference list that cites sources used in the paper. The most important thing is to make it a series of small steps so that no one step is onerous, so that the steps look logical together and that students can progress very, very simply from one step to another. It's called sca scaffolding, like the scaffold that you put on the outside of a building because you can't reach up to, to, to paint it or to to clean it or, or whatever it is that you need to do. So you have these, this scaffold on the outside and then once the project is done you take the scaffolding down. But the scaffolding needs to be there so that students can, can reach to the, to the place that they need to reach. So the kind of writing feedback that tutors give the TTs um, really focuses on a hierarchy of concerns. So we do not do any proofreading or editing, but we do diagnose the paper for large concerns. We like to focus on global issues before local issues. So that means that we look at organization, content, structure of the paper first. Um, and then when we start to work, after we um, revise that and we start to work on grammar concepts, the tutor will diagnose the paper with large issues and then teach those concepts to the TTs and this encourages the autonomous learning.